All right, guys. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do this infinite scrolling logo carousel um, with just CSS. So I was trying to figure out how to do this and I figured it out. But before I go on, I need to give a shout out to Nick Kill because I, I use his code pen for inspiration. So you can check out the link here um, if you want to see that. I will also post the link. So yeah, let me show you guys how to implement um, this infinite scrolling carousel um, thingy. And yeah, I think it's really cool. So I'm going to try and break down everything, right? So in a way that will be easy for you guys to understand. So I've already implemented it right here. So I'm just going to try and implement it again, right? So there are two things you have to re remember about this right it's an illusion right there there are two separate sets of the same logos right but then you loop one away as the as the other one comes in it restarts the loop i know what, what i'm saying now doesn't make much sense but if i code it you're gonna understand it right so we're gonna copy you know a lot of this um Dave right here, just so we can implement this ourselves, right? So I'm, I'm just going to copy. I'm going to copy everything right here. And I'm, I'm going to explain it, right? So I'm not just... I don't really want to copy. I don't really want to code everything again from scratch, right? So I'm going to remove the animation class, right? So everything is... So let's see how that looks. All right, guys, this is how it looks. Uh, I think there's still some issues. I think I'm... Alright guys, so this is how it looks, right? Uh, this is how it will look. So I'm going to explain everything, right? So, okay, this is how it looks. Essentially, when you create, like, the div, right? This is the div you... This is, these are the logos you, you want to animate, right? So let's inspect this real quick. Uh, so I'm going to use the inspect tool to also like show you guys what I'm, I'm doing as well. So maybe it'll be easier for you guys to follow along, right? I'm using Tailwind, so you don't really have to. So essentially, right, what I did uh, is... What you're seeing right, right here is basically like um, a flex, right? So this is the flex of the first logo set, right? And there's another flex of the other logo sets, right? So there are two identical logo sets, right? The flex is giving it a width right now of 50%. And it's 50% of the... Um, of this div right here right so this div so each of these would occupy 50 50 percent of this div right so one thing that we have to do to make sure everything looks nice is that this outer div we need to make it a width of 200 percent i will explain why when we make this div a, a, a width of 200 percent what happens is that we multiply the space within this div into two. So now, our initial logo, which was 50% of 200, is now 100% width. It now fills out the width 100%. I hope this makes sense, right? So the second logo set is exactly after this, but it's not showing because we have overflow hidden on this overall card. So this is the overall card. We have overflow hidden on it, right? So essentially, it makes the first logo set feel 100%, and the next one is 100%, but it's behind it. Now, this is where the animation comes into play, right? Where we positioning this flex, the flex that contains the two divs, we're positioning it absolute. That way we can control its 
um, we can control its movement using top, left, bottom, or right, because it's absolute, right? So what we're doing with the animation, right, if I show you guys real quick, is we are, uh, sorry, it's right here. We are taking it from left zero to left minus 100%. So what that means is that this div, this first logo is going to go from left zero to minus 100. That means it's going to go completely out of the screen. And note, while this is happening, the next one is coming in. So let me just show you guys an example of this. So let's just do left, right? Let's do left um, minus one. I want to this would work. Wait, I'm doing I'm doing the wrong thing, right? Minus one percent. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing it on the wrong div. So yeah, you're supposed to do it on the, on the absolute div, right? So I'm I'm just gonna add left, right? Let's do minus one pixel. All right, so it moved, even though you didn't really see it. But what I'm gonna do right there is I'm just going to pull this, pull this down. As you can see, it's moving, right? So once, it, as you can see, it's moving out, and then the the other div behind it comes right behind it. So it gives the illusion of an infinite logo so that's what we're doing here we're taking it from zero to minus 100 so at minus 100 this first div will be completely at the other edge of the screen so let's see what the minus 100 percent actually let's see minus 99 percent so you so you guys can see that so this 10 this 10 right here is the first div going out of the screen right so by the time it gets to 100, it's going to realign this new div right here at 100. So it has completed the animation. And at this point, at this point, it restarts. The animation restarts. Back, it goes back to the first div. But it happens so fast that uh, your eyes can't really see it happening and just to illustrate it happening right um looking at the example above right let's change some things right so let's change some things in it so let's remove this six five to ten right here let's remove it um let's remove everything right here and let's paste six so what we're doing right here is that we have um the first um logo one, two, three, four, five, then we have logo six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So let's see how that looks. Just so, so as you can see, we have logo one, two, three, four, five. Okay, watch six, really, really, watch six, right? Watch what, watch what happens once six, which is the end of the animation. Just watch, watch six, watch it, boom back to one so this is what happens but since they're the same logo it happens so fast that it looks like an infinite animation right so what we're essentially doing is that we're um taking the day from zero to minus 100 and we're looping it in a linear infinite loop so it loops over and over again forever right and this 20 seconds essentially means it's going to take 20, 20 seconds to start from the beginning of the animation to the end. So if you want the animation to move faster, you can change the time. So let's inspect this tool real quick, right? And we can go to the animation uh, here. The animation class is right here, right? So we can see that 20 right here. If we reduce the 20 to 4 
or three, as you can see, it's faster, right? So it's going to take a shorter amount of time for the animation to move. So essentially, this is how you implement um, infinite scroll with a logo in CSS. I hope this makes sense. I know I, I rushed it a little bit, but I just tried to explain the fundamentals. And if you understand CSS, you should be able to follow along with this. The spacing um, for the logo, how I, I'm able to get um, equal amount of spacing, I'm using flex, right? And I'm using justify around on both of them. That way, it gives equal amount of space around the logos, right? So I'm not doing any complex like margins or anything like that. I'm doing justify around. Now, this works when the initial logo size can fit within the um, the container, right? It can fit within 100% width of the container. But as you can imagine, sometimes the logo may be, logos may be more than 10. They may be 20. You may want to loop through 20. In that case, there are other ways you could go about it. I'm not really going to touch on that on this video, but I'm going to explain it, right? So if you want to loop past other things, all you have to do is expand the width, right? So first thing you would do is this. The width of the um, container that you're animating, um, if it's 200, that means you're sharing it in half. You're sharing it into 200% each. If you want it to be more, you can make this 300, right? You can make this 300, and then you can change the keyframes instead of 100% to 150. That way, uh, your animation would loop. So it's going to loop. So as you can see, it's longer now. And there's more space, right? There's more space. So it's, it's going to loop to 150, which is like half, which is half of 300 before it, it restarts. But obviously, as we can see, I'm sorry, I put it on pause. As you can see, it's going to go back to 1 right there. If we had it um, numbered properly, so let's copy Let's copy these back up here, right? Let's copy the six back up there. Let's paste, right? And let's copy everything again back down here. And let's paste that and let's save. All right, guys. All right, so let's watch this right three four five six seven eight nine ten now we're seeing the next one right right be behind it as soon as it gets to the end the loop starts again but it happens so fast that we don't notice it right so it looks like an infinite loop now the pause is pretty easy right all i did was put um a hover state um, on the animates, right? So the animate is just like the um, wrapper for the two flex items, right? Uh, sorry, it's right here. The animate is this, is what wraps the two flex items, right? So I just put a hover state on the animate and on hover, you can pause the animation. So let me show you the animates, uh, yeah. So this is the animate um, div. So on hover, on hover, you change animation play state to pause. So that's what makes it pause. So I hope this explains this to you guys. Hope you guys learned something new. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Have an awesome day, guys. Peace.